uh, this session um, focusing on Kensai platforms, uh, use of database notebooks. Um, my name is Urashan Chitre. I am head of product engineering for Kensai. I wanted to quickly go over how um, we have leveraged uh, notebooks to make it easy for data scientists and solution architects to use our platform. Uh, both the solution architects and data scientists within Kensai who build first party solutions as well as um, on customer side uh, uh, for third party solutions built on the platform. Before we dive into the notebooks themselves, let me give you a quick overview of what I mean by the platform. The Kensai platform is a set of services that are built on Azure that make it easy for uh, ML workloads, uh, especially healthcare ML workloads. So it's essentially a scoring pipeline at the heart of it, but it also has services that make it easy to develop uh, models. Um, we like to think of it as zero to ML um, in the fastest uh, time possible. And the way we uh, do that is uh, really reduce the friction, help you with data transformation using our transformation job services, um, uh, use taxonomy bank to do the appropriate mapping to get to a common schema, and then use a bank of service uh, features that uh, come uh, out of the box in our platform to help you get started uh, quickly and also it comes with a, with a, a service called model bank that has uh, pre uh, implemented models that you can use as starting point or deploy within within your enterprise um, today what we're going to focus on is this uh, component uh, uh, of the platform uh, called database notebooks and if you're familiar with notebooks uh, which uh, uh, they're just a good way to demonstrate both the sample code as well as uh, explanation go that goes along with it. And we've embraced that to uh, to uh, build a set of notebooks out of the box that will allow um, allow you to get started quickly. So um, here's another view of the of the platform at a high level. If you think in terms of networks, then. Uh, what we are focusing on today is the Databricks portion of the architecture where all of the ML workload runs. So when you deploy on Kensai platform, uh, we deploy a Databricks cluster for you and we populate it with the right set of uh, libraries and dependencies and services required to run um, the models that come with the platform as well as models that are built on top of the platform. Uh, with that, let's just dive in and see what, I, uh, what uh, a few of these notebooks look like. So here what I have is the Microsoft Azure portal and through the portal I have um, dive into one of the Databricks uh, cluster and opened a notebook that comes uh, out of the box with the uh, Kensai platform. And in this case, this particular notebook is essentially a starter notebook for someone like a data, uh, data scientist or a solution architect uh, or a data engineer who is initially uh, interested in just exploring the data that exists within the platform. Let's say the customer has dropped uh, uh, some EMR data and uh, uh, you want to uh, just work through uh, the basic structure, take a look at what, what's in the data, what are the columns, etc. So what this uh, notebook is demonstrating uh, is our basic commands uh, that uh, um, uh, are available to you to uh, explore the data. In this case, it is, it is demonstrating this using the Mimic data set. Uh, but, but you could use this and then expand it to uh, work with the specific data set that you are currently working with and uh, 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 go from there. Uh, so like everything else, notebooks are a starting point uh, to help you get started. So let's uh, move into something a little bit more interesting. So the next one here, here uh, is essentially a notebook for a data scientist that, that starts to talk about feature engineering. And so in here, there is... Uh, as you can see, there is not only code that uh, we have uh, built that is comes pre-deployed on this cluster, but there's also documentation and onboarding help to just walk you through what, uh, an example. For uh, let's take the uh, case of an uh, age as a feature. In this particular case, uh, he uh, this is an example of how a Kensai feature can be developed, and uh, the actual code of the feature is right here in the in the Spark SQL code. But there are a few things that you need to do to uh, have this feature then plug into the Kensai platform. So this feature development notebook walks and data scientists through how, how do they go about um, thinking about a feature 
And there are a few things that you need to do a little bit specific to to plug this feature in to uh, the Kensai platform. But once you do that, you you essentially get a lot of benefits of, of the rest of the common uh, parts within the platform. So, um, and then here's an example of um, things like quizzes that are also part of the notebook that, that essentially walk you through and get you ramped up and onboarded uh, to some of these concepts. Uh, the next one here I have is uh, how do I use a feature now, even if you don't develop a feature yourself in the beginning, uh, you can still leverage a lot of features that come uh, pre-built uh, in, in the platform. And this notebook here is taking an example of a few of these features and this running through um, r running through um, an, an sample of uh, building, building a feature vector using those features that come out of the box. So in this case, um, again, using the Mimic data set, uh, importing some of the features that are from the Kensai uh, library, features library, and then uh, running a construct uh, uh, function uh, against that data set with that list of features uh, to get a feature vector uh, of this form where you have an encounter, you have age, is emergency department, is outpatient, and, and so on. And there is a whole library of features that come built in with the platform so you don't have to implement these you can essentially get started uh, with what is in there and if you do find a need to implement a new feature then you go back to the feature development uh, steps and add another feature to this list uh, so here's uh, uh, at a very high level uh, a feature eventually is is a, is a piece of uh, python code uh, what makes it uh, pluggable into the platform is the way we have provided structure around how a data scientist should think about implementing a feature so it is a lot more reusable by other data scientists and we use the same thing internally for our feature development for all the portfolio of solutions at Kensai builds and we essentially uh, uh, extend that for third party solutions where customers data scientists can do the same thing uh, in, the, in the same manner. The next one here is, is model execution. Uh, same principles apply. There is a uh, base a chassis, uh, as we call it, that uh, we have implemented that allows you to drop any specific any model and, and uh, point it to the right data uh, uh, feature vector and then uh, score the model uh, for you. So in this case, and there is a get model uh, method that gets the, the, the model object and then goes through and executes it against the data set that you pointed to. Uh, so again, you know, very um, taking care of the basics, taking care of the underlying uh, mechanism to execute, and allowing uh, data scientists to just focus on their value add, which is the which is the model itself and the and the and the understanding of the problem uh, uh, space. Uh, and then fin to finish off here quickly, uh, there are uh, I mentioned the taxonomy bank as one of the mapping services that we have. Uh, this notebook here uh, walks uh, a data scientist through understanding what what do we mean by taxonomy bank? What are different concepts and vocabularies and domains within it that you can explore and uh, decide how you plan to map your uh, incoming data um, using these standards. Uh, when I talk about standards, I mean the ICD uh, codes uh, uh, and other, other domain specific uh, um, uh, vocabularies. Uh, Again, you know, um, this is something you could do yourself, but these notebooks uh, essentially <clears throat> uh, save a lot of time by providing pre-canned queries for a lot of this work. And if you look at the workspace, uh, this is a growing list of notebooks uh, we have and we keep adding more to it as we, as we um, find uh, value. And uh, that's essentially how we have embraced notebooks uh, without going into further detail. Um, as you can imagine, each solution or each model okay, uh, has its own set of notebooks and on, on day one you can uh, run through them and then you can take that as your starting point if you want to do further model development and um, uh, go from there and, and build your own specific model on top of it. Uh, this is what These are the tools our internal internally our data scientists and solution architects are using and they are getting uh, in, uh, they, they're coming back and adding more value to these notebooks or contributing more notebooks. So over time, we end up having a growing set of um, very valuable, rich uh, starting points for lots of different problems within the healthcare domain. Um, this, is, this has been a quick introduction 
uh, but uh, hopefully it gives you a little bit of idea about uh, how we are using notebooks within the within our uh, platform and how they it is being used uh, uh, so yeah, getting back to uh, this is where we uh, what we focus on today is the notebooks within Databricks. There are a lot of other value add services within our Kubernetes cluster, the, our microservices, and uh, hopefully we can go through some of those other uh, value add in in following sessions. Um, uh, but thank you for listening, and uh, we'll see you again in some other session. Thanks.